Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, we'd like to welcome you back to the 18th Annual Derby City Classic. We're live here in uh, New Albany, Indiana at the Horseshoe Casino. This is day number six of the nine-day event. We started uh, uh, the first event was Banks with uh, almost 500 players, a record number of players for that. And uh, that was uh, won by uh, Jason Shaw. And uh, runner-up was Shane Van Boney. In the second of the three events, it's one pocket. We started with 375 of the world's greatest players. We have 46 left in the tournament at this point in time. And without further ado, I'd like to uh, introduce our two principals for this feature matchup at the uh, 6 o'clock time frame. Uh, our first gentleman is uh, sponsored on tour by Enviro Assessments and Hustlin' USA. He's a former Iowa State one-pocket champion, one of the young guns from Columbia, South Carolina. Please welcome Mr. Josh Roberts. Josh Roberts. Thank you. And his opponent in 2014 was a member of the United States Moscone Cup team. And uh, he's won the all-around in the Tunica, Mississippi uh, tournament. Also one of the young guns. He resides in Tampa, Florida. Give it up for Mr. Justin Hall. Justin Hall and Josh Roberts. At this time, uh, gentlemen, you may lag for the first break. We're going to send it to the booth. Mark Wilson, take it away. Hello again, everyone. AccuStats proudly presents World Class One Pocket. My name is Mark Wilson, and tonight we are upping our commentary game with special guest Bill Hendrickson providing the color. Welcome aboard, Bill, and give us something to look for in this one. Well, what do we have to look for? This is a one-pocket match between Justin Hall and uh, Mr. What, Roberts? Josh Roberts. Josh Roberts. And Josh Roberts, like you uh, mentioned, he just won this event, a $2,000 entry fee event. So uh, apparently he's a very good one-pocket player, and Justin Hall has... Knocked off some really good players in one pocket. I'm sure it's going to be a really great competition. Yeah, fiercely contested. Two young guns of the modern pro tour. Justin Hall, 28 years old. Resides in Cape Coral, Florida currently. Originally, I watched him. I'm sorry. I, I watched him play in the uh, uh, Make It Happen event that uh, AccuStats puts on, and he played really well. He won the leg. It's the uh, beneficiary of the opening break. You see how the cue ball uh, wasn't hit that hard and it stayed down a little lower than normal breaks? Uh, um, I've noticed that a lot of people are, are having to resort to that. that uh, there's a... Uh, they're not used to these balls, maybe, you know, or... Mm-hmm. Something's got, happening a little unusual, and, and uh, they don't want to sell out the corner ball and lose the whole game, so they're just hitting a little easier on the break. Both players, tremendous all-around talents. Justin Hall won a pro bank pool tournament in the past. Known as a very good short rack game player, Josh Roberts. He also plays all games, high level. Comes from Columbia, South Carolina. That's where Grady Matthews has uh, resided the last few years alive. He's liable to go for the 10 ball here. Uh, I don't know if he has a... Uh, oh, no. Okay. What ball was that? That's the 12 ball 12 he banked. Ball. I'm sorry. Yeah. He was just trying to protect that 11. Yeah. The 10 and 12 were similar in, uh, at this distance. I, I was not seeing very well. Justin Hall has a very interesting demeanor. He's he's absolutely fearless, and uh, he, he rises to the occasion. Pressure does not seem to bother him. He's not uh, impervious to missing, but it's not because of the pressure. The ball near his pocket's the 11 ball, I believe. Right. And uh, he's going to do something to defend that. Um, you know, graze off a ball or something so he won't be able to hit, uh, knock it away. I don't think there's any offensive shot he sees yet. Just drifts the cue ball over to the cushion. Yeah, and he was allowed to do that because the 11's blocking the bank on, on either the uh, 13 ball or the 10 ball. If it wasn't, then he wouldn't be able to shoot that. 
Yeah, Josh won't be able to lightly kick on the 11 because he'd leave the 13 ball bank. Yeah, he's going to have to graze off the 11 ball, I would guess, uh, right here. Hit the 11 real thin and soft. Leave him, on the, I'll leave him on the short reel. There's other options, but that's one of them. Uh, I don't think he would be that well uh, uh, worse for where to play a rail first, kick on the 11, and try to kick it over towards his pocket and just let the cue ball go down by the three. That would be a very aggressive, sh very aggressive shot this early in stage of the game, you know. Um, I'm just saying the option uh, of yeah, lightly the, kicking on the yeah, 11 is yeah. not palatable, but, uh, so he's no, not going to lightly kick on the 11. No, he's going to no, do not something the 11. different. The, this other ball, this ball here, I don't know what ball it is. That's the 13. 13 ball. I was, just, I was referring to the 13 ball to, to raise the 13 and put him like there. Yeah, this is the dilemma. Now no, he's no, left he's, the he's 13. In trouble now. Yeah, That's, big trouble. He should have gone off the 13. <laughs> or well, that or anything but this. But now he's got to really rely upon Justin Hall missing a, a fairly routine one pocket bank that is missable, but uh, going to have a high success rate for the likes of Justin Hall. Justin Hall wearing a jacket it says action 24 7. That must be a new clothing manufacturer because I see a lot of people wearing them here. He's got to fire this in. He's going to make this ball. Use the six ball to stop him. The six ball went in the far corner. That will be spotted at the conclusion of this inning. You see where the cue ball is. He's lucky he made the shot because he was going to give up a whole bunch if he missed it. But with the helping ball there, he just felt so confident about it, it was worth a go. Yeah. I don't think it's uh, one pocket's not a game for the risk adverse, but it's more about risk management. Yeah, absolutely. That's a very good way to put it. I like the way he played that. He came across for that ball. I don't know if he has any real angle on this to do much with it. He can forward. Uh, he's jacking up a little bit. Oh, that was nice. <laughs> Such a character when you know him. He's from a little bitty town originally out by me, and he grew up with Justin Berkman. They used to stay at each other's home and play pool all night. Later on in life, they traveled the road together. They're still young guys, 27, 28 years old. Just gets, about like brothers. If he gets this ball and the eight ball out of the way, uh, on this, around here where you spot the balls, there's a couple of balls that may or may not go. Um, the combination may go to the pocket, I'm not sure. Yeah, it looks pretty on here on the overhead, so mm -hmm. he can just pound this cue ball back to the center. No problem. Which is what he did. He'll probably want to shoot the striped ball first and then come back and play the combination. It's kind of funny, too, because this is one of those layouts or opportunities that Justin made from the bank that if you don't go ahead and run out, you're you're pretty disappointed, even though you have a big lead. Yeah, I have a feeling he's going to run out here. If that combination's dead, it's going to be hard not to get out. He's examining it right now as we speak. If it's dead, he can shoot the combination first. I think so. Leave the nine and the uh, 14 ball there and come up one rail and come straight up for those two, and then it'll be easy for him right. to run two or three more. Yeah, that's the 14 and the 15, the two straight balls nearest the seven. Okay. Now he's going to draw back from the 15. What was that? I have no idea what he did. I don't understand it. Uh... Did he, think he didn't he had draw. Eight? No, he knew that. I mean, immediately he reckoned. It's bizarre. Now, at least one ball will spot. Right, correct. Well, he shocked me. Not sure what he was doing. He was, thought he would have tried to play some position that he recognized he, he right away. He was now. He may have six balls. I think it, he has six. I will tell you this. In the pregame, I was down there. And I was watching Justin Hall hit the balls. His tip is so worn out, he may yeah. have miscued on that draw shot. Uh, you know, it's funny. Uh, whenever, when I used to play a lot of pool, I mean a lot of pool, I mean hours and hours a day, I was playing my best, best pool when the, the tip was worn out. 
and people would look at it and they would say, geez, your tip's worn out, but I wasn't missing a ball at the time, you know, because that's what it takes to get your tip worn out. There's a lot of play. Right, right. He'll he'll knock a couple up table probably just just to, to protect the game, put the cue ball on the bottom, and he's going to play the score. It was a little like football prevent defense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't want to turn the table over to Josh Roberts, a yeah, dangerous man. Yeah, we'll give him a lot of little easy shots where he can make one, but he's not going to get any uh, hundred yard runners, you know. Right. And Josh, you know, he's kind of forced to put more balls out of play, but that's not really what he would like to do. Yeah. So now they're all out of play. I mean, not out of play, but... Difficult to make a run not, from. It's not easy to make a, a multi-ball run from this position. <laughs> Usually from this position, I would try to send them all up into one side, you know, and it's just easier to manage that way if I was Justin Hall. I just, uh, you know, I'd probably just leave him nothing to shoot at as best as I could. So he left him a little bit of a bank. Um, was that the... Oh, that's the 14. 14 or... Six, he can play yeah, a passing he, he shot. Can, you know, he can shoot one of those to the 14. Maybe if he stuns it, he might be able to get position on a six. Or yeah. He, if not, he might be able to just cross the six. He's going to have to kind of weigh out. Does he think he can earn his way to a better chance than this? And if he doesn't really feel like it's readily coming, forthcoming, he may shoot. Just Got to feel he's going for his pocket here because the score is, yeah, you see the score is saying let's be a little aggressive, you know. And the old uh, yeah. adage that Ronnie Allen used to say was, uh, you know, when you're winning, play like a lamb. You're losing, play like a lion. So he's going to be the, the lion now. And he took care of the cue ball there. Should he have missed that bank? He drained it right in the middle of the pocket. He sure did. He's still going to be like a lion. And he made another one. Wow. Well, that's two fine he banks really, he there. He really pocket, huh? Yeah, he's for real. Yes, he is. He put himself into the game. Has clawed his way in. Two tremendous bank shots. To survey what further damage he can do after he pockets the six. He may, he may go after the, was that the five ball over there? Mm hmm. He may go after that or, or the striped ball that's approximately in the middle of the top rail. And he's looking at the five ball, that's why he put his cue ball there. Well, oh, he's oh. in the position now where he can shoot softly, at least leave a threat. Sure. He could also shoot the two-railer on the four here if he wanted to. If he feels good about it, he can go firm speed, and he did. That assists making the bank. This ball may cross. He may be able to cross this strike ball. 6-5 is the score now. Robert's on a run of five. Yeah, he's going to try and cross this uh, this ball here because he he backed way up to see if the angle was good. He'll put a little right hand English on the ball to keep it from going down. How's the speed? It's, it's good. This is very close to be going in. Yes. He's got the same type of shot on the six now, on the seven now. This one's a little more difficult. You, you have to really cut that ball thin. He left Justin Hall across corner now. Almost felt like he might have double kissed at the hint that time because yeah, he did respond yeah. kind of funny. Yeah. I don't he, know if he did, but he didn't cut it thin enough for sure. He may have kissed it. If he goes to bank this, he's going to put a little bit of left juice on us, and the ball will come up towards the four ball or at least up to the middle of the table.
Nice shot there. Well, now Justin might be able to rub the four down towards his pocket. Yeah, I, I'm not. I'm not dangerous. in love with. Yeah, I'm not in love with going for the pocket on this shot. This is a little too risky. I might go off the outside of that ball and yeah. leave him on, on, the, on the long rail over there, far away. And he, he doesn't want to. Wow. That's just not a good option. He may get a kiss. There's all kinds of things that could happen there. This should go off the outside of the ball and leave him with nothing to do. Well, he's mindful of leaving a two-railer, for sure. Yeah, you bank it up a little bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It stops that from happening. That, that was a good shot. If I was Josh, I wouldn't mind trying to go off the four, bank it on my side, and billiard the nine into the pocket, being as I needed two. I don't know if it lays proper for that. Yeah, I, it's going to be very close. If he, he yeah. might be able to do that, and he'd have to spin it real soft to catch it real full. Um, it doesn't look like he's trying to do that, though. What is he trying? He's just going safety. That's not a good shot. Though. No, Justin Hall will definitely bank at this and leave it near his pocket. The idea of that shot, I've never seen anybody really try it. I think he was just trying to leave it along the long rail, and then he yeah. hit it a little bit fat. Yeah. You definitely have to do better than that from here. Yeah, he figures to get this ball very close. He's, <laughs> this, is, this is like a nice... Does it all. Such a long bridge, and he's just relaxed. He didn't hit it very well for such a nice hit. No, he's, nice such, a, he's such a funny guy, too. He always calls me Prairie Town because I live in Prairie Town. He's from a little town nearby called Hamill. Each of them have about 100 people. So, say, what's up, Hamill? Okay, well, Josh really didn't get hurt the way he could have. Now he's back to where he kind of wanted to begin with. This ball may be able to be too railed. Um, you have to know the new cloth, how it's playing and everything. Sometimes you can too reel the shot. If not, then you just bank, bank it over to your side and put the cue ball on the far, near the far side pocket. Yeah, that's okay. He almost gave him a two-railer here. Right. Some people would play this uh, a kick, a two-rail kick shot here, or one rail into the into the ball, and then the ball into the long rail and the head of toward your pocket. Yeah, if it's a little closer to the rail, it's a little easier to judge yeah. for that. It's yeah, a little bit off the these rail. These guys now. are so accurate, though. They might be able to judge this. You know, uh, somebody who shoots them a lot is going to be better at it than somebody who doesn't shoot them very often. If you play a real lot of one pocket, you've shot this a lot, maybe. And the other, for, you know, it's good for him to shoot because he's able to let the cue ball go forwards and pocket the nine, too. So even if you get them both down there in the middle and the cue ball up near this pocket, it wouldn't be too bad. Yeah, he's definitely going to get the nine in play here. That will be his job. Justin Hall will not touch the nine. He's just going at it. He just went at it. He didn't really go. He wanted to hide that ball, see? If he froze to the four ball, then the, he'd have to go off the four. Now he's going to try and take the nine out of play. Maybe even put it to his pocket. Some people don't mind banking a shot. Other people don't like banking a shot. It's a little hard of a hit. Yeah, and you got the lead. You don't need to do anything whipping the cue ball around. I think you just go off the top of the nine and bank it kind of on his side and let the cue ball sift down to the end rail. Well, that's exactly what he did. And that keeps the pressure on Josh. And there's no bank coming back now. There's no bank at all. Yeah. Yeah, there's no offensive shot here. It's going to be tough to not get the short end of the stick here on this exchange. Yep. Yeah, yeah Justin's there's, no good. Good. there's no good. Justin's going to have a chance at, at a, a bank to his hole. Two different... He can, yeah. Either ball has a chance. Well, he might be able to cut the four straight in, but he doesn't have to take that risk because he would clatter into the nine. He could just bank the yeah, nine. If you clatter his into pocket. the nine, that's a risk. He wouldn't want right. to do that. No, I think he's going to shoot the. Well, no, he's looking at the four. He's looking at the one one rail on the four, I believe. No, if he got to go below the side pocket, that's not the answer. No, there. above the side pocket. Okay. It's a pretty nice hit. 
That's a score right there. Bingo. Justin Hall. Very nice. Hama, Illinois takes the lead over South Carolina. 1 0. The new cloth on these tables. Um, you're absolutely right. If you go below the side pocket, there's no chance the ball's going to go two feet from the pocket, you know? Mm hmm But on the other hand, it'll slide down if you hit it above the side pocket, which normally right. on an old cloth that wouldn't come to the pocket. Now, the same angle, if the object ball was close to the side rail, you could make that bank below the side pocket. But because it picks up roll traveling over so much cloth, it always right. goes way long. Exactly. I never really understood what you just said, but I understand it now where they said it. I never thought about it like that. Yeah, when object balls are near the rail, they come off shorter because they're sliding at impact as opposed to rolling. Interesting. Jay Hall played that bank pretty nice, though. I mean, he was total control. He was, uh, he figured the right shot, played it, made it. He won the Tunica Bank Pool Championship. Very good bank banker. Good sense of humor. Nice break there. Josh really Roberts. Good break. Now he didn't have a real, I don't think he got a lucky roll with that eight ball uh, and the stripe ball next to it. I don't think they throw in, do you? No, it, doesn't, it looks like a tie and uh, awkward, so. <laughs> this would be, be a good chance to get rid of them if you had a way to Hit the bottom rail and take them both out of there, or maybe maybe take one out and make the other one bank towards your hole. Um, I don't know if you'd be giving up too much to try that. You know, he's thinking about grazing off the the, the nine ball and getting under those two balls, maybe. But yeah, it's up high enough. There's some danger. Does definitely not want to sell out a bank doing that. Oh, oh boy. That's a bad shot. That's a bad shot. Oh he, boy. He, he didn't scratch it. It made a great shot. It was a great shot. He didn't scratch. <laughs> exactly. It's a great <laughs> shot if you don't scratch, but if you scratch, it's a hideous shot. Yeah, he really hit it bad. <laughs> Justin Hall, he, he tries to contend that he has more swagger than any other pool player. He's very relaxed. That point may be, uh, at that point may have him where he can't hit the three. I don't know. Certainly hard to tell. I don't know what he's trying to look at, what he's doing. It's like he's banking the three and just going to follow to the side cushion and to the back into the stack, maybe. Oh, yeah. you could see a lot of that ball. I'm surprised. Wow. He could see all of it. Yeah, that was good. He wedged it back into the stack, and that further protects the 8 and 10. Even though the 8 and 10 does not go, there's a lot of good things that can happen by having those close to your pocket. Yeah, yeah. I'd like to know for sure that this ball doesn't uh, throw into the pocket because it, it changes everything. He's going to bank this? No. Now you know. For sure doesn't throw in. You can take the conservative approach here and uh, was that the 13 ball or 11 ball. He just one reel that. Oh, mm -hmm. no. He's going to thin this ball, break him open, spin the cue ball on the other side of the rack. Okay, good chat. And it didn't help him a real lot, you'll notice. No, um, it didn't hurt him. He's okay. Yeah, no, not, uh, that, not that it didn't hurt him, but, it, you know, the, the eight right. doesn't go. Nothing goes from a up table, you know, uh, those two balls. Right. You'd have to be in the right place to be able to make them. He just couldn't take any more risks than that. And still got Justin Hall being defensive. Oh, he, well, oh, yeah, he made a bank. He almost made it. He hung the ball for sure. Wow. But that's gonna it's gonna show. He sees that ball now. So he can either take it out or, or make it. I don't know whatever is smartest for him to do at this time. I guess it, that was the smartest thing I would say. He got all these balls over here that came out nice. Loosened up the rack quite a little bit. Oh yeah, that came out nice. <laughs> Thank you. 
And then kind of awkward, too. Justin Hall's got a hard time getting the cue ball over there between the uh, 8, 10, and 15 ball. That's the ideal arrangement. Ball's on the end rail and side rail near your pocket. He's in trouble here. I mean, even if he goes uh, over here to this rail underneath that striped ball, was that the... Uh, the 15? 15 ball. Even if he goes real far underneath that, then he's going to have a ball coming back into the 8 and that other ball. Mm -hmm. Into the 10, the 8 and 10. Could drop one of the 10 or the, the ball he hits. I can't tell if it could fit between the rail. And... uh so he can't do that. Um, he might have to go off the, uh, well, I guess it's the one ball, and try to get over here. Graze off the one ball, try to get over here without touching the eight. Oh, the six ball, you're saying, yeah. Yeah, and mm -hmm. maybe that those two will get blocked up where they can't bank, and uh, yeah, I don't know. Oh, good shot. He had to go all nice, out to what make a nice it. Shot. What a nice shot. Yeah, his back was against the wall. He had to just play wide open the offense. You could see he was totally naked. He was in trouble, yes. He was in trouble. Yeah, that was a good time to gamble then when you're trapped like that. Now he's got to make it hurt. Otherwise, he took all that risk and didn't win. Yeah, he came up for the five was nice. Good speed. He can look at bumping the nine here or going between the 13 and the nine if he wants. He can also draw up. Yeah, he's going to have to follow to the reel and then on the way back grab the nine or between the 13 and the nine. Yeah, he still has the 14 if he misses those. Perfect right okay. through the hole. Yeah, he wouldn't have minded just opening up the nine, but in lieu of that, he has the 14 straight in, so. Part's okay. You can draw back a little bit for the uh, 13. Yep. Or maybe even fur firm it into those two balls and open them up. I don't know. Yeah, it looks like he's going forward. He is. Trying to get to the other side of the 12. Good well, that shot. That was a heck of a shot. This kid Justin can really Hall. hit him, can he? Yeah. Not a lot of angle, but maybe just a little bit to work with. He might be able to stun it back and play the 7 next. He's drawing the ball. Oh, he stunned it over for the, for the Ooh, seven ball. Wow. Gorgeous shot. Now yeah. he can control it for the eight and ten. If he can get away without scratching right here. That, the only way he scratches is if he miscues with that poor tip. <laughs> so. he, he caught the point over there. Luckily, uh, he did pretty good, though. I don't know if both of these balls go or one of them goes, the eight. Now he's like, playing for two, so he can just follow up. Follow and, for the bank? Yeah, I think. Yeah, get seven for sure. Yeah, he's got some offense, doesn't he? Justin Hall. <laughs> yeah. He was in trouble from Robert's move, and he made a heck of a bank shot, and that's a game winner. It sure is. Justin Hall, 2-0. Nobody has more swagger in the game than Justin Hall. <laughs> <laughs> we also affectionately refer to him as Budhead of the Beavis and Budhead duo. <laughs> General tardiness. Does he know that? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He knows. <laughs> he certainly does. But he has fun. He's a good kid, too, and I like him a lot. So he knows it's all in good jest. See if he breaks the ball soft again like he did the other time. He may have learned on these tables you got to take it easy. I don't know. Because I, I, I'm having a problem breaking myself. No, he hit it with it. Well, he didn't hit it that strong again. You know, medium. Got the 15 ball right over yeah. by his corner pocket. Actually, he has pretty much the right break for these tables, I think. Josh looks like he's thinking about going real first on this. I don't know about that now, but it's just a, it's such as if you don't hit this ball, per, even if you hit oh. it perfect, if you had it perfect, you're still selling out. Oh, I completely agree. I, I don't. I mean, the only way to shoot that, the only reason to shoot that is if you're really dead. 
He doesn't want to just lay the cue ball down there on the 14 and then let Justin Hall maybe bank the two into the stack and tuck the cue ball below the nine. Or You see the three ball might go to his pocket. True. Yeah, true that. Well, he's banking this 14. I guess he can see it. Oh, what a nice shot. Yeah, very controlled, good speed. Left the cue ball over here and turned the break right around there, Bill. Yes, he does. Yeah, that was powerful. Well... There's places he can leave the cue ball where up up table where it's a long combination. If you leave him at the wrong angle, he wouldn't be able to get position maybe. But uh, I'd like to be able to do that and get a ball in my pocket. Yeah. yeah Justin thinking about trying to kick in there at the nine, yeah, kick and stick yeah. type thing. Yeah. That's that's a really I don't know if it even Is plays without well, giving the bank. No, you can't roll it. You give the bank. Yeah, he oh. sold it out. Okay, yeah, that was a difficult shot. Josh Roberts now requesting a player timeout. It looks like. Okay, we're back. I guess the break is over now. Comes Justin Hall. Well, obviously, he's going to shoot the nine ball first. And probably the two after that, but not necessarily. I'd, I'd probably try to get all the way over here for one of them other balls, a stripe ball or, or something like that. Or maybe break them a little bit off the nine. Winding well, up like he's really doing yeah, something he's gonna here. Play, he's going to play to break him off the two. He came a little strong. But still, he's going to make this two ball. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's got a good angle for it. He wants to attack the 11 ball here if he could. Yes, exactly. That'll leave the 10 ball. So you'd be used as a nice break shot. If he, hits the, if he ever hits the, t the, uh, the 11 ball, the way you said, it'd be able to widen the whole pack open. And he didn't quite get in there. I wonder if that three balls we were talking about it before. I wonder if it's anywhere near the pocket. I don't think so. He's examining all those possibilities right now. It doesn't look good from here. That bank maybe looks pretty good. Bank on the six ball? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that would provide some cue ball control for him. He may be able to get back to open the pack open again if he made that. Mm-hmm. Maybe draw right into that uh, the ball in front of his hole. It's getting close, but no cigar. Yeah, but good speed. And he protected it. It's like Justin Hall kind of wants to back cut that 14, but he's jacked up over the seven. Yeah, if he's going to fire, I wouldn't fire at that ball. I might fire at the 12. Yeah. Looks like he's considering that very possibility and maybe just let the cue ball come around three rails. Uh, or, or leave him longer straight on the on the six. Oh, you did what you said. It's going to How'd come he hit it? How'd he hit it? Now. He could get a bunch here. That he opens the doors, yeah. He just has to make this ball, and he could get a bunch here. This just, is just a stop shot. He yeah. shouldn't try to do anything with the cue ball. That's right. Just stop the ball and proceed to run him out. Yeah, he's mm. fine now. Hit that the, beautiful. Those balls all go, I believe. He's going to be able to open the balls up with the, with the 11, is it? Yeah, but he's going low. I thought he'd go into the 1 and the 4 right now, but he didn't. Maybe smartly so, but 
He's going to run out of shots here. I don't know why he did that. Maybe, maybe he'll play the 11 and then the 14 and then bank the 6. Right. But, oh, he, he's going to play the 14 now. And maybe the 4 goes. No. Oh, he thought he was going to graze that pack and get something out of it. I don't know. So after he makes this bank or hangs this bank, let's say he makes it, uh, what's he going to have to do? No, it's <laughs> not sure. I mean, you know, if he if he sort of holds the ball with a little bit of a draw, he'll be able to graze a three, I guess. Yeah, like that. Or, or miss it trying. I don't believe the three is touching the, uh, no, it's not. I doubt if we could throw in is what I'm saying. He's looking to see if the three goes or something else goes, but I don't, I don't believe they do from here. The only thing he may try for is a, to really fine cut the six ball and may try to make it bank over. I don't, mm -hmm. know, I don't know if he can do that. He just drew, drove it out of there, hide it on the other side of the pack if possible. Not bad. The score now is a uh, five three. Five three. The three, four, five, six, seven balls on the table. We are down. So uh, Hall has five. Roberts is shooting. He's gonna want to be a little bit aggressive here. And he didn't hit it hard enough to reach the pocket. I'm sure he regrets that now. What would you do here? Hmm. Yeah, Myself, I, I'll tell you what I'll do here. I, 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 I don't like it because of the score, but other than the score, I would like to bank this ball over and come and hit under the three ball and right, go right into that little pocket in there. So he tried to cross it, which is fine. I don't think he has anything hurting him. Unless he sold out to 13, that would be the issue. Yeah, well, he has a piece of it. He, he certainly has a piece you can see. In fact, you can see enough of it maybe to turn it and bank, bank it. Wow. He can get over to his side, that's for sure. I don't know if he can make it. Yeah, you called it, Mel. Not enough to get it, but he could get it over there for sure. So this is a real dangerous shot here also. Mm-hmm. If you're going to kick this, you got to kick it, not to, you know, not to get it to the hole. I mean, you just got to kick it to not give up a shot. If he which may off, be, yeah. which may be, you know, you know what? If you kick this to the hole, that may be the kick that doesn't give up a shot. Mm -hmm. If you hit it good. Especially if you use left English yeah, and so approach I was it. Say that. Yeah. Exactly. If you have a little left English, you approach it from a little higher. Uh, See, that's not what he did. No. He gave up the shot. And he gave up the shot with position. He could go around the table if he makes this. Now, unless the four is dead to his, the other pocket, he could go around the table for the six ball, and uh, this game could be over if he drops his bank. He had it good. 
He, you know, he sort of drew that. You know, you see how he dragged mm -hmm. that table. He, if he let that run, he might have been better off. He would have been closer to the six, unless he thinks something's going to go down in that stack. But I don't see it happen. Maybe if he gets down to the ten, though. Yeah, well, that's what he wants. You know, that's what he wants. He's going to play to get there now. A nice shot. Good chance he will not get a shot from this, though. Unless yeah, it's going to be yeah, the three ball. He probably has to hit the four and then the ten. You know, I mean, yeah. No, no if matter. that's the case, then, then there's a chance to get on the three. Playing the ten first, I, th I think it's really troublesome to get a shot. Yeah, maybe it will. Maybe I'm wrong. He played it off the four. Used the proper speed. Yeah. Now it's six five. Uh, he's got the lead. But the, that's the good news. The bad news is Hall's got the lead in games too, and he only he's on the hill hall. So, yeah, I might have liked to hit that three ball a little harder. Well, now they're in a real neutral position here. This is like a this is this game could get stagnant. I see a couple of shots that I I might you know take a wing at, but I don't know if they're good or not. Mm -hmm. Josh has been thinking about two rail in the three, I think. Yeah, but I, I would do that, but maybe maybe billiarding it off the off the four. Well, you see what happened here now? Uh, I don't like that if he doesn't make it. Cause Jeez, how could you figure he to make sells that? Out. You, well, you he can't sells out. Well, he sells out. He sold out. He sold that out. If that ball didn't go, he lost his, the game and the set. But instead, he wins the game. So, great shot. That was just a very fortunate event for him. Mr. Roberts wins game number what are you three. Gonna do? Things like that happen. Yep. Do you know what round this is in the one pocket? I do not. I thought it was the second round, but it might be the third. I have a feeling it's higher than that. Well, then. <laughs> this is what I've learned over the years. Never ask your co-commentator <laughs> something, because... <laughs> Now you make them look just dumber than could well, be. I didn't know, so I was dumber than you. <laughs> well, uh, but no, truthfully, what happens is we get so locked in on this table. Yeah. And we're I doing understand. the Bigfoot, you I know, understand. there's days of things go by. Yeah, you haven't been out know. to look. You, you've right. been watching, watching what's happening on this table, exactly. Yeah, yeah I was innocently just curious to right wonder what round it was. Danny always asked me questions that would be real far-fetched, you know, and... Uh, so sometimes well, was, uh, I played in the tournament, so I was really curious on my own to know, you know yeah. how far they got because I didn't get any further. <laughs> Look at this. There might be a dead ball here back at Justin's hole. Oh, boy, if it is, this would be the end of the rack right here, end of the match. Well, I mean, he's still got to make eight, but I think he'll certainly well, be inclined. They don't throw. To they're, not, they're a part. Uh, yeah, uh, it's not quite on. Not quite on. But. So they don't throw, but it might be a nice beginning of, uh, you know, Certainly go soft at it anyway. He might be back in the 12 here. I think the three. Just going to move it over to his pocket. Yeah. He didn't keep it hidden under the nine. He needed to keep that under the nine ball. If, even if he can hit the left side of the three, that's a nice shot for... Uh, Josh. Yeah, for Josh. Uh, he'll bank it into the stack. Uh, something may go. Uh, if And he could draw the cue ball straight up the rail near, near the side pocket. And if something goes, or even if it doesn't go, you're moving a whole bunch of balls this way. He's looking at banking the 12 at the 5-7 just to make sure, but he's now he's back to the 3. He's going to draw that ball. And, yeah, look, he got lucky. He made one. Yeah. Um, well, he played that shot, so it's not total luck, but he knew it was a lower percentage, but he knew he was going to be safe. So well thought out, well executed shot. You could play this a, a couple of ways. You could you could hit this this five ball into the was that the fifteen? 
and drive some balls oh. over, or you could just drive the five ball into the ball that's on the, the 12. 12 ball mm -hmm. and freeze them to the stack. You can even make the, the five or the 12 head for the, you know, for the area that you'd like it to go to. Yeah, I like that a little better because you're moving a lot of balls, but I don't know if the cue ball is going to go in the pocket. Oh, that's absolute death. That's horrible. You yeah, have half that speed. Half mm -hmm. that speed, you want to go near the side pocket and keep all those balls from being seen. I believe the 13 is over the line here, too. You see, the ball, even if it didn't scratch, it would be up up in the top corner there. He'd be able to go to this long rail and hit the back of the three ball, mm -hmm. which would be, you know, just mm -hmm. take it, take it, everything out of play. He'd have been better off to go lighter yeah. on that yeah. impact and uh, just absolutely. hold it by the. Yeah. Absolutely, he had to go no higher than the side pocket. But I like the other ball better. Even that frees him to the stack and drive the other ball. Yeah. It was even a smarter shot. Uh, you know, that's what I would have done anyway. He worked hard and earned the initiative and the upper hand, and then now he's given it all back. I don't know what his next ball is. He's got in mind. Is he going into the stack? He may well be. Yeah, or he may be firing or, with the cue ball. He hit know, the ten. Or, or there may be a ball in the stack that's dead. Well, that did some damage there, Bill. Well, he's got one he can make for sure now. Well, he can draw back and get the two, the seven. Uh, the combination like may be on, I'm looking a at. A lot of things here now that work in Justin Hall's way. If the 12 goes, that would be really well, great. Well, perfect right through the hole. And the combination, if that combination is on, he, this game is over. But if it's not on, he's going to have to work. Yeah, he's going to work. I don't think it's on, but... Looks like the 12 has half a pocket over there. I don't think he's going to shoot the 12. I think he's got to shoot either the 5 or the 7 after this deuce. Okay. Okay, he just played position he's for the this. five combinations. Now, if this ball goes again, this rack may be over. The game's yeah, over. Yeah, yeah. This is. Because the ball go then. This will be a crippling blow if he makes this five ball. He recognizes that. Takes his time. Clear into the pocket, but but that's the good news. The bad news is he's that those balls are a combination now. He can't see them. He can shoot the seven. I don't know if he gets the second ball or not. He may get the. the uh, I think he's gonna play position for the fourteen yeah, from he may here. Get the fourteen, but he's over the stack. Might be able to cut the eleven then. Yeah, is that the eleven? Yeah. Yeah, he could cut it in. It's a really fine cut. And he's looking at it, believe me. These are the kind that you think that you're not sure if they go or not, so you cut them max, mm -hmm. and max was not, was too much. Sometimes you overcut these balls. Well, that would be the preferred way to miss this if he did. There's no miss that I want here. The whole of the balls go in the other pocket. Let's see what happens. Shoot this reverse, right? Just goes crossing back. Rubbed it in. Yeah, he's going to have to go defense now. What has he got? Yeah, I don't think you want to gamble on trying to cut the nine in. He's got six balls. He's got to get two out of play real quick. There's too many balls down there. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Makes one mistake and, and he's losing in, in score. Can he can he hit the ten into the eight and control the cue ball and just lightly have the ten, eight ball go up? No, he's gonna play the stop shot on the four. Oh, good. Did not want to hit that, that three. Worked out pretty well. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, he did just say whatever. he's got two out of play. That's what you said to do, right? Well, it, that's the good news. But the bad news is he, he can put these right back into play by pocketing one of them up top. You know? Yep. I don't know if he could two wheel that one, but he could certainly pocket it. And the right way to pocket it would be is if you could pocket it and then hide under the six ball. Looks a little thin for that, but yeah. Yeah, if he could do that, then there would be no option of anything to do next, you know. It's like he's trying to two rail it. Well, he was. So he had he had a little, and he touched. He opened then, the stack up. Oh boy. Yeah. See where the eight went. Now there might be a bigger fourteen uh, off the fourteen ball here. Uh, I eight. like the four. I like the four here. Get that out of there. And just stick the cue ball right to the three and make the guy shoot the long table. You know, you're taking one out of play and leaving him nothing but the uh, one ball. Was that the one ball or the nine yeah. ball? Yeah. For a bank. And Justin's looking to see if that carom's on. It's not quite. Sometimes this ball allows you to take the four out and knock the three towards your hole. Right. You see it? Got the eight ball into his if pocket. If that would have fell, it would have been over, but now he's still in trouble. But uh, yeah. Justin has six balls. And that's, uh, that, with that one hanging, he'll be on the hill. That was an enormous shot right he's there. Gonna, he's going to have to go for a shot here, I think. He may play the bank on the three, work himself you into You got a bank on the three, you got a kick on the three, you got a, a maybe a three reel around the one, or. Well, in any event, uh, you're betting the game on it. There's, yes, you are. Yeah, so. The bank would be the easiest to play. They're all very missable. Yeah, he's gonna, he has to shoot this ball. And if he makes it, he'll have two or three more balls. Right, probably, might probably. be able to chip the nine out of there and get a bunch. Yeah, oh, game, just right? what he didn't want to have happen. He hit it pretty well. Yeah. Okay, Justin Hall playing for two. He's going to play this real first. He'll come out and miss that, that ball that's on yeah. the diamond, and uh, he'll, he'll cut it in. Nice call. I like that, too. I'm pretty sure that would be the optimum way to get position on the 14 to win this game. In the set. Perfect. Virtual certainty. Josh Roberts concedes. Justin Hall moving on. Nice performance there by Jay Hall. He really shot really good offensively, didn't he? Yeah, he did. These are, uh, well, he played some banks. He played some pretty heady shots in there. Made a couple good combinations. He even here in the last game when we said that would be a crippling blow if he made that combination. So, I think Josh Roberts could have played a little bit of defense. Yep. Okay, well, that's, uh, that's our show from here. On behalf of all of us at AccuStats, we thank everyone for sitting in. And I enjoyed uh, working with you, Mark. Thank uh, you very much. Great job. So long for just a while.